Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Before we start, I want to wish everybody a happy New Year's. I hope you got to spend time with your family and friends. Today I'll be doing a testimony to talk about my year, the goods, the bads, and overall what this year taught me and how good this year actually been to me. Going into the year 2020, I had a positive mindset and I was expecting uh, good things and I had a very high expectation expectation due to how really poorly my 2019 was for like my personal life uh it wasn't really too good but i was still trying to go with a positive mindset and on the second week in january i got stopped by the cops and this completely messed my year up so i was coming from track practice i'm walking so i see this man a black car pull up window pull out me i thought this was real suspicious so me i ran i got halfway I was, I ran, and while I was running, I see the car spin around, it's like going, going, and by the time I got halfway to the next box, undercover cops came out the car, pointed a gun at me to stop. So now I'm realizing the situation I'm in. So I'm like, oh, it's this situation. So I immediately stopped. They came up to me, searched me. They said that they thought that I threw some illegal substance in the bush. Uh, while the, one of the officers went and checked if I threw anything in the bush, the other officer was talking to me, like, where you coming from? What school you go to? Where you live? Stuff like that. So it was a very scary moment for me. But after that, they was like, they found nothing. They let me go. This situation scared me because it's two outcomes of this situation that I was very fearful for. Uh, with the cop pointing the gun at me to stop, I could have got killed if I went and I moved another inch. And another situation would be if the cop did say they found something, I could have got arrested and locked up and be fighting a case right now for possession of illegal substance, which I never had on me. So that situation made me scared, but I knew the guy was with me through the whole situation and I left the situation unharmed and nothing. Uh, even though the reason they pulled me over was very like, it was something else to me. I like the fact that they actually did treat me with the most respect. I like the fact that they did treat me with like respect. They did not manhandle me or tuck them in a disrespectful way. They talked to me like I was a human um, being and treated me like I was good other than the gun being pulled out on me. So later on in the year, when I saw what happened with uh, George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, and um, Breonna Taylor, I felt so lucky that my situation did not end badly. Like this, and I felt sad at the same time because I'm like, I was able to walk out of my situation and go to home, but neither one of these people got to go home and see their family, so I felt very sad. So, with that situation, this year just it, I was like, this year is gonna be bad, this year is gonna be terrible. I apologize, everybody, for predicting that this year was gonna be bad. I apologize, but that that just messed my mindset. I was like, this year is gonna be trash. I left, I was like, oh, it's gonna be trash. So, then um two weeks later finally got the confirmation that we were good moving so i ended up moving to new jersey and stuff like that uh i had to get adjusted to school a new school and a new environment which i was used to because i was originally born in guyana so i told my Guyanese and my caribbean people and i came up here in 2012 so being in a new school and a whole new place i've done that before so this was familiar to me but that met with some challenges and i also going through some more personal stuff and for the rest of the year, I was just going through more personal stuff and I was letting it affect me a lot. Like I was, my mood was changing so much here and there, but uh, I was thankful for quarantine happening, not with all the bad things that happened, but the reason why I was thankful for it, because it made me focus on myself, focus on my problems and focus on my issue and let me get more into the word and bring my problems to God. Cause that's what something I wasn't doing. I was trying to deal with my problems by myself, but if you don't involve God in your problems, your problems just become worse. And once I started involving God with all the issues I was going through, uh, personally, he helped me. Uh, I learned that uh, a lot of my past trauma, a lot of my past pain, I never dealt with them. And I saw how they were still affecting me. Me being forced to be inside and forced to be by myself made me think about that. I learned that my bullying situation had a way bigger impact on my on myself then I realized and I learned that so much thing uh, really, I learned that a lot of stuff from my past created the person that I am today. I learned that my good and bad traits about myself is from those stuff. But 
we're gonna move on to like the good uh, a lot of the good that happened this year was like the whole new move finally being able to live with all with all my siblings and my niece and nephew and my mom and dad all of us living together uh that was a good uh moving to a, like a whole new place whole new school i love that uh i i got a lot of opportunities uh i got to plan help plan camp and actually do some leading with camp uh i got to be a part of a play uh with my church which i was very happy about uh i got to be a part of this uh very important meeting thank you so much uh brother aj daily for that uh i got to be a part of a bunch of different bunch of different stuff and a bunch of different opportunities that came to me this year and i i really focus on my grind and work hard on the things i need to work on like i was going full force with youtube because before quarantine i was not going full force with youtube and overall this year was a pretty it was a very good year for me because a lot of good things happened uh school academically good my personal life good there's so much good that came out of this year i got to connect with a lot of people i got to know more about myself and i got to build a closer relationship with god that i didn't have before for because anytime I would do a video, that would be the only time I would actually pick up my Bible. And with quarantine, I was forced to be by myself. So I made sure I grabbed my Bible more and be with God more. And I love it so much. This year was a pretty good year for me. I learned, I learned so much. Uh, as I said before, I learned that a lot of my past pain and traumas and stuff like that, I never dealt with them. And I see how they still affect me, and I want to start the journey to heal from those situations so I can become a better person because I know that if I try to heal from the situations five, ten years from now, it, it will be very hard and just make the situation more worse. And building my relationship with God and continuing to get close to Him is amazing and I love all the opportunities He sent my way and I love the position that I am in for my age, being 17 and uh, just having a really good position, be able to have an influence over people, be able to preach to people, uh, do motivational speaking to people, be able to use all my gift and talent for the Lord. I love it so much. And I thank God most for protecting me, especially uh, with the situation when we get stopped by the cops. That situation could have ended very badly. And I thank God so much for being in that situation with me because I was very scared of my, for my life. I was very scared. I was so scared, guys. I can't lie to you. That's the third time I've been in a situation where I almost died. So that kind of like freaked me out because I'm like, this is the third situation. Um, I just feel like, in a way, I've just been through a lot for my age. And I know that all of them is going to come together for the greater good of uh, the Lord and myself. Because I started to learn uh, why a bunch of different stuff happened in my life. That's something that I really uh, had to learn. I learned um, that my bullying situation, the reason why that was so important to happen, because it helped to build my character and the person I am today. It helped me to understand that people are going to talk about you. People are going to see me. Stuff. People are going to want negative stuff to you. People might want to hurt you and stuff like that it just made me learn all those stuff and it's helping me to build my character and improve but i'm also going to work so much in healing uh from my past pain and trauma because i need to heal from them because i see how they affect me negatively but overall this year was a wonderful year and i thank god so much for it god i love you uh i love every single body that helped me out this year this year was a magnificent year i'm just gonna continue to strive for greatness and i think every single body that's around me and everybody that motivate me this is my testimony because god have been very good to me this year uh thank you guys so much for watching this video this is motivation for young christian this is the last video of the year i know i said that before but this is the last video of the year i love you guys peace <laughs>